the lord deserted those places today there was no room for the holy spirit the wind of the lord to blow the way he wants to in the gatherings of god's people the holy spirit has no more place to come in and convict people of sin and holiness in their lives there is no place for the, the fire of the lord to come in and burn those things which are stubble in their lives though people say holy spirit you are welcome here he doesn't come there anymore dear brothers and sisters i am concerned about you and me i'm concerned about our gatherings and i share this with a great burden upon my heart the hungry come to meet with god but he is not able to meet with god where is the place for the holy spirit when i was recently visiting some places you know i was sharing with them and some of the things that they said it's very very sad to hear some of these groups we talk about end time glorious bride overcoming church and so on and so forth their meetings do not last even two hours they have maybe one or two songs there is no real worship there is no meeting with god and they have a lot of doctrine about the end time and within two hours everything is over and they have no time because they timed everything at in the kitchen and come if they are late their food will burn you cannot eat it anymore god has been timed god has been given a slot you can fit in please do otherwise i don't think i can give you any other time listen brothers and sisters god is bringing his cleansing water and he is going to wash his church in these days and surely those who are open and willing to repent and allow that water to wash them and cleanse them god will do that work in their lives therefore i want to say to all of us it's a great warning for all of us all of us including myself one of the things i always pray with my brethren before we start the gathering in delhi is lord help that we do not miss you anyway
യാതൊരു വിധത്തിലും അങ്ങേ നഷ്ടമാക്കുവാൻ ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇടയാകരുത് Lord help us that in no way we miss you we can come and do many things and can be happy about and go but lord help us that we do not miss you in any way kathave njangal vanna pala karyangal cheyittu povan kedinal anne njangalude jeevathil nashtamaakkirade ennadanu njangalude prarthana and the most tragical thing in our life listen carefully is valare durandamaya oru karyam endanannu njan parayam listen carefully after we have finished everything we feel nothing about his absence ella cheyidu kaynittu kartavante asanyathathe kurum namukku yaadru bodhum that is the most dangerous thing അതാണ് ഏറ്റവും ആപൽക്കരമായ കാര്യം മി ഗോഡ് ഹെൽപ്പ് അസ് ദൈവം നമ്മെ സഹായിക്കുമാറ it is not the responsibility of one or two people in the fellowship deiva bhavanathil onno rendu peru uttaravadathum allathu people come to god's house deiva bhavanathilekke janangal vanna with divided hearts with prejudices vibhagiya not able to see eye to eye with one another adhe pole that's that's not worship that's not god's house ദൈവഭവനത്തിലേക്ക് അങ്ങനെയുള്ള മുൻചിന്തകളോടൊക്കെ കടന്നു വരുന്നത് ദൈവഭവനവും ദൈവിക ആരാധനയുമല്ല that's why the lord said in the days of malachi will somebody go and close the door that nobody comes into my house adondana malachi da naal kathavu ingane parne aarengile ivar aaradhikkan varadhi vaadra nadachirunnadhu nannayirunnu please are you hearing god eva shabdathil ningal kelkunnundo are you yes no some new people may come into the house of god and can be encouraged and blessed sila pudhi jeevanangal sabhile kadannu vannal adil nammal ursahithara ayal madiyo but if they continue to come they will be discouraged ana thorana avaru vannu kaniyal avaru ninnu ursahapadu because we have nothing of his fresh presence in the midst of us my brothers and sisters priya sahodari sahodari may god help us dev namai sahayikumara god will surely have his church as his instrument in these end times to bring about his judgments upon this earth that is for sure but the question is that will we be part of that instrument in our lives the end of the earth the earth is coming to the earth the earth is coming to the earth and the earth is coming to the earth എന്നാൽ നിങ്ങളും ഞാനും അതിന്റെ ഭാഗമായിരിക്കുമോ എന്നതാണ് ചോദിച്ചത് ഭൂമിയിലുള്ള ദൈവത്തിന്റെ ന്യായവീതയുടെ കാര്യം വരുമ്പോൾ ആ ന്യായവീതിക്കുള്ള മാനദണ്ഡമായിരിക്കണം സഭ because the church is to measure up to Christ 
And the church is going to his measurement to bring about his judgments upon this earth. Therefore, the church is God's standard of righteousness. She is the instrument of God's judgments. Yes. God's people. They are God's righteousness upon this earth. They are the standard of His righteousness. Now listen carefully. We are living in a world where many governments are approving immorality as something legal. Listen carefully. Immoral, sinful activities are now being legalized, made lawful in many countries. Even in our country, which talk about so much of, you know, uh, you know, uh, what can I say, conservative life and principles. Our Supreme Court has accepted living relationship as something legal now. Yes. Yes. Now I know that there are churches in Bangalore, baptized, spiritful, believing in baptism, born again life, spiritual life principles, baptism in the Holy Spirit, where the pastors go and conduct Bible studies, where young men and women are living in without marriage. How do you like that? In the Bangalore, and they are members of their churches. Our Listen carefully. And when we go to the West today and see how things are, many governments are approving immorality and legalizing, making it lawful. And when those governments are passing those laws, to legalize those things which the Bible condemns. Many Christians are grieved about it. I hear this many a time. And this is done by the so-called Christian countries. Gay marriages are now almost approved by many states in the United States. Canada has approved it many years ago. United States Lula, Palasam Stan and Canada, okay. Anangal Damilula, 
വിവാഹത്തെ അവർ അംഗീകരിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞു Christians are grieved. They're sad. But where is the powerful testimony of Jesus Christ in the midst of so-called Christians? Tell me. They are sad. when the law is passed anganeyulla neemangalukku nadappalaagumbol avarku dukham undu but why such a thing is happening because there is no powerful testimony of jesus christ among those who call themselves christians christianeyude thangale visheshathangalude madhyathil kartavaya yesu christuvinte oru shaktamaya saakshi illathaan ippo inganeyulla neemangalukku nadappil varunnathu kaaranam if there was a true testimony of jesus christ in the midst of the church then those people will fear in their hearts and think twice before they ever think of a law being passed and they sabhay in christian country tava yesu christinode saakshyam undengil avarkke adine oru niyamam aakunnadine kuriche bhayapadu the workers of iniquity will fear and tremble if there was a testimony of christ there christuvinte oru saakshyam undengil agathyam cheyunavarokke bhayapadugalanu saints the church has miserably failed sabhayna muttilum parajayapadirikkum it is the responsibility the calling of the church to declare god's righteousness in the earth പ്രസ്താവിക്കേണ്ടത് സഭയുടെ ഉത്തരവാദിത്തമാണ് ഡിവോഴ്സ് വിവാഹമോചനത്തെ കുറിച്ചും പുനർവിവാഹത്തെ കുറിച്ചും ശക്തമായ ഒരു ഒരു സ്റ്റാൻഡ് നമ്മൾ എടുത്തപ്പോൾ പലരും നമ്മളെ ആ കാര്യങ്ങൾക്ക് വേണ്ടി കുറ്റം പറയുകയും അപലപിക്കുകയൊക്കെ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അനേകം നല്ല സഹോദരന്മാരെ എനിക്ക് അതുകൊണ്ട് നഷ്ടമായി അതിനുശേഷം Oh
Reality. 